within the secret cathedral of the Ageless Egyptian in Sabah Noor, now known as Apocalypse. It's, it is one thing to capture the X-Men and clone them, but it's entirely another thing to clone an entire army of X-Men. The cloning process is tedious and arduous, and then and there uh, are insurmountable difficulties and big word questions. How does one guarantee that the clones will possess the unique powers of the originals? And if they are indeed exact duplicates, will they not, as a matter of course process, the same ethical strictures? Yeah. The same worldview and mindset. Hmm. There we go. Yeah. Have you no faith in my expertise in matters genetic and chromosomal? I, who have circumvented the insurmountable, hardly Winnebeck principle, please direct your attention to the cloning bat for a practical demonstration. The use of a blank homunculus negates the need for a growth tank. Over oh, this clean slate is right, the genetic coding of our cloning subject. And here the strands and are manipulated to ensure the doppelganger answers only to you, my lord Apocalypse. Yeah. Those claws. Is it wise to utilize one so formidable and indomitable as a test subject? It would be unwise not to. There you have it, Lord. A perfect copy of Wolverine. Mutant abilities intact. Totally subservient to your will. Now, one question. This recording engine, this electronic animus, it is of standard format. The lackey is recording all your... repository with a fourth generation video camera. It records on metallic oxide tape, does it not? Now we're at the beginning somehow. Born well and wise. Not to uh, tape. There we go. Making all we have seen accessible to one who is master of magnetism. I was stooped. I was able to obtain much more than this tape before Apocalypse uncovered my penetration of his cathedral and instituted magnetic shielding. However, it is still permeable on a rather corporeal level, and that is where you come into play, my aggressive and ambiguous friend. Ambitious, whatever. Just get on with it, Magneto. Such impatience to diminish you. Your humanity. Is prowess in battle so important to you that you subject yourself to implants on a molecular level? Infusions of cyber metamorphic weaponry connected by nanotech circuitry directly to your central nervous system. I can control the weapons with my mind. <laughs> As if they were your very hands. Eh, show me. Bang. Bang. See? Accuracy with the chain gun and shotgun is improved by a targeting computer grafted to your optic nerves. Now, what if the threat is greater? Eh, I'll switch to laser and grenade launchers. Eh, yes. I do believe that you, or one like you, may succeed in assailing the Citadel of Apocalypse. Magneto will not sit idly by and twiddle his armatures, my lord. He will attack. And I shall be ready 
my secretive ally. Now it's up to you. Now it's up to you. What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm here with a brand new spotlight. Today we're having a look at something very special. This is X-Men, The Ravages of Apocalypse. I'm gonna go ahead and load up new game. <laughs> this is Ravages of Apocalypse, a total conversion mod for the original Quake. Which means it takes the Quake engine, uses most of its things, and converts all the enemies to X-Men characters. This door cannot be opened. As of like right now, we're inside the X-Mansion to choose my difficulty. Which, as I've heard, this game is incredibly hard. Also, it doesn't come with any music or I can't get it to work. So I've supplemented my own with, uh, I believe it's E331 Rocks X-Men Meets Metal because it's the most appropriate damn thing I could think of. Anyways, this will take me down to normal. But, I think I'll go with easy for now. Woman's dormitory. I can't open any of these doors even though I wanted to. That's a nightmare. That is not what I want. Yeah. But it is fun to kind of move around and see everything. If I ever... Oh, that's not it. That door can't be opened. Ah, here we go. Easy. Drop down into the war room. Gateway is here to take you to where you need to go. So as you saw in the opening, basically, Apocalypse has captured the X-Men and is making a clone army out of them. You are the last... You and Magneto are the last hope to stop him and his secretive ally. Pretty much. Aside from that, it's a pretty solid first-person shooter for a mod made... God knows when. Way, 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 way back. For the first, uh, uh, for the first quake. As we see here, we're first introduced to a, a Psylocke, who has katana and her psychic knives that can actually paralyze me, which is bad. And several quests to do along the way to actually open up the other things. NPC character I just wanted to shoot. Uh, I have several weapons that I have access to, that I have complete access to, but I have no, uh, weapons for. We have my basic melee, which is a punch. Yeah. Shotgun. Chain gun. Both those use the same ammo. Okay, I can't switch to the uh, fire guns because they don't have enough ammo. But I'm going to need this because, uh, well, Cyclops is going to be a dick right up here. And in my personal opinion, Cyclops is one of the harder characters to beat. Just because it involves a lot of ducking and weaving. But overall, it's pretty fun. I mean, definitely enjoyable, especially if you en enjoy a uh, first-person shooter. Psylocke is here. I need my shotgun. Later, Psylocke. Now, let's see if I remember... Oh, shit, she's back. Thank you, please die again. Gun. Let's see, to get out of here, I have to... I have to... Ow. Bob and weave quite a bit to avoid all of... Ow, Cyclops is deadly aim. Oh, fuck, I'm out of shots. Nope, wrong one. I don't want to use the flamethrower. Oh, okay, fuck it. I took probably too much damage there, but it doesn't matter. Alright, my mouse isn't set up. Fuck, that's gonna make... Oh, well, I'm not here to finish it. I'm just... Ow!
dick. There we go, that works. I'm just gonna shut. But anyways, it is quite fun. Uh, especially for someone like me. I played this when I was like eight. I played the original, the, like a demo for it that only had like the first, this first part of the first chapter. There are two chapters to it. Which I uh, have you fight Apocalypse and then his mysterious secretive ally. Mm, I could easily tell like within the first five seconds who it was. But anyways, that's just me. So yeah. Uh, the only problem that I found with this so far, I mean aside from it being like hard as hell. Especially in later chapters. Is you do need Quake to run it. Uh, that you can use Steam Quake. You've just got to copy the files and get it to there. This is free. Like, all of the uh, files are free to get this. Oh, no, it's waiting for me, so I'm going to switch my flamethrower. But uh, it is free. You just need Quake to be able to play it. Oh, thank you, God, health. Oh, fuck. I know it's in this room. What's my other guns I get now? Something and a rocket launcher. Kill! It's a grenade launcher. I'm gonna need this. Go away, Storm! Oh shit, an Archangel! Burn! Like my power! That didn't work. I'm sorry, Angel, I liked you, but not that way. Alright, now to get back across, I'm just gotta shoot the door. There we go. Oh, fuck! But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty fun, and probably be better if I was actually using a uh, actual mouse instead of my button for this. Even on easy, it's kind of difficult. But uh, I'm sure once I master it and get better at it, yeah, you do eventually get to fight Apocalypse, and he's like fucking huge and shit. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for a good experience, enjoy X Men and whatnot. I would definitely go look this up. You can find it at I believe it's Zero Gravity's website to get the files to download and then just move those into uh, the Quake folder and tell Quake to run game uh, X-Men and that's all you really need so I would definitely give this a recommendation of at least try it once if you're a fan I mean even if you're not a fan of X-Men if you enjoy just like a good old-fashioned uh, first-person shooter I'd recommend taking a look at it Because it is indeed fun. I'll admit it be cheap. Ugh. Gotta hate Cyclops. <laughs> but it is indeed fun. So with that being said and done, I'll catch you all next time. Until then. Asta. Oh fuck! I just wanted to show that off at least once. Asta, guys.